Hello there. Coming to you from uh, a hotel room in Germany. I'm actually recovering from a little COVID bout, so I have to isolate while I'm on vacation with my family. So I want to, um, in the next five days, introduce you to the Five Day Deal, which is an amazing charity event with many creators coming together. And I thought I'll talk about it, but I'll also share some tips that I haven't done in a while about editing. So every day uh, in the next five days, I'm gonna just pop off a video and talk about some of the editing experience and things that I think, especially in this environment, are very appropriate. So today, I was gonna get into artificial intelligence and how it's going to affect us as editors. The reality is nobody really knows how bad it's gonna be or how amazing it's gonna be. It's gonna be pretty incredible in all fields. I probably don't have to give you a primer on all the amazing changes that are happening right now that are scary, wonderful, and just tremendously fast happening. I just recently came off a panel where we just talked about artificial intelligence and how it's gonna affect post-production and us as editors. Everybody kind of was at the sense that, yeah, it's gonna be helpful, like it's gonna be good. That's gonna just make us work faster, better. But uh, to be honest, I'm not quite as optimistic about artificial intelligence. I was recently approached by a company in Europe to become an alpha tester on some of the things that they're playing with in terms of machine learning and helping us uh, cut better. And they've, they've built something in an editing software that really um, was somewhat frightening to me to play around with. And um, we'll see if I'm gonna be the right candidate for this. But um, you probably, as an editor, know that we do uh, certain things that are very organizational and some things that are very creative. And there are a total of five things that we do as editors. It starts with just watching the material all the way to composing, putting it all together. I'm of the opinion that pretty much everything can be done through a computer eventually. Everything but one thing. You might think, oh, it's, it's the putting it together part, the sort of creatively telling the story that's gonna be hard for a computer to take over. And I think that part is gonna be very doable very fast. They can do all the organizational stuff, finding shots fast, selecting them, and putting them in the right bins, and maybe doing some string outs. All that stuff is already very doable. But the one thing that right now, I'm not sure whether it's gonna be able to solve it, and that might be our saving grace as editor, is actually the anticipating how the audience will feel part. So we as the editors are obviously the ambassador of the audience. We shape the story. We determine what to show, when and for how long. And by doing that, we are creating these cycles of tension and release that hopefully create the right reaction we want within an audience. And I think that part of just watching and anticipating how the audience is going to feel is gonna be hard for a computer because it's gonna require more than just comparing patterns from before. It's such a, I mean, even we as filmmakers, we never really know if something works. We kind of just throw things at the wall. We listen to our instinct and, and we apply everything that we know, hoping that a story is gonna work. And if you're really good, you get it right most of the time. There's this vast middle class of editors. I think they will be replaced. I wouldn't be surprised if 80% of all the editors um, that are currently working are gonna find themselves out of a job. And that could include myself. I think it's gonna be very hard for editors. We have no choice. We're gonna learn it, we're gonna to adapt to it, we're gonna make use of it so that we can become more competitive and cut faster and hopefully better. But ultimately, I think AI will replace most of the editors out there. That's a scary scenario, but I think it's definitely in the cards. I could be wrong. Nobody really knows what's gonna happen. What do you do with that information? What, 
how do you deal with it? Well, first of all, you just got to keep on trucking, right? You got to follow your passion. If editing is what you desire, making films is what makes you happy. If you have that need to tell your stories, then you keep on doing that despite all the obstacles. Learning and being open to new technology and making use of it. Uh, ultimately, the best hedge against AI is actually owning the content or the IP that you create. And whether you use a tool or whether you make it yourself or you hire someone, as long as you own your own art, that is uh, how you can protect yourself against it. Learning and training is still critical. Like we never stop learning. And the five day deal is an event where 40 creators and business owners and educators come together and each one contributes uh, one of their courses or some of the digital assets or plugins or templates that they have that they've created and they put them all together in one major bundle at one low price. So instead of paying thousands of dollars for these courses, you get them for less than a hundred bucks and you're also doing something good. Part of that money is going to go to charity. For the next five days, we're trying to get at least 300,000 free meals plus uh, a percentage going to uh, various, various charities that are working with the group at Five Day Deal. Click the link in the video description to see all of the amazing courses that are available. I'm gonna highlight some of them in an upcoming video and uh, I'm gonna continue talking about some editing tips. So share with me if you have any questions about the future of editing in terms of advancing your career and then I'll hopefully pick some of those up in a future video. Happy editing and cheers.